Hey everybody and welcome back to Gunology. It's been a little bit since I posted my last video with fall and winter coming up. I should be able to be out here posting a lot more videos. It has been crazy hot. Um, I just wanted to basically bounce this out to you cats. I'm going to start posting some videos carrying some different pistols for fall and winter. With that coming up, you can put a little bit heavier clothes on, carry a little bit bigger pistols. I'm going to change a little style and flavor this year for carry pistols, carry some different stuff. Um, this is one that I picked up. I'll let you guys come in and take a closer look at this here in a second. But this is the Pro Aegis 2 from Kimber. This is out of their custom shop. Um, come in here, take a closer look at it. We'll shoot it, review it a little bit, let you check it out. Come on. Okay, guys. So like I was saying, this is the Kimber Custom Shop Pro Aegis 2 and 9 millimeter. This is the 4-inch bull barrel version. Um, aluminum frame. 30 LPI checkering, 9 millimeter all metal magazine, 9 shot, uh, 3 dot night sights, and that beautiful 1911, that beautiful 1911 trigger on these bad boys. Um, they've got these ball milled grips, I guess is what they're calling them. They're kind of like little flutes in the grips. The grip panels are way thinner on this than it would be on like a normal 1911. And with it being the aluminum frame, it's lighter, obviously, with the 4-inch barrel. Now, it is a bull barrel, so there is some weight to it still. Still got a little heft to it. Um, but honestly, you put this on you, on like an outside the waistband, or even like with these thin grip panels on an inside the waistband, it's got the one, the safety selector. It's not ambi, right? But you could always put that on there if you wanted to. But it's kind of low profile, the way that this is. And this is basic, this is designed to be carried. Um, and I will say with the, the four inch bull barrel, um, it shoots extremely light for what it is. Um, and with it being a nine millimeter, like I said, I'm gonna carry this for a little while with fall and winter coming up. Um, you can have some thicker clothes on and whatnot. This might just be kind of a, a ranch pistol type deal. You know, woods pistol as you're walking through the woods, slap this on you and you're carrying something. Um, it seems to shoot extremely well. I haven't had any sort of malfunctions or anything crazy happen with me yet. It's had probably maybe a hundred rounds through it so far, but, um, all in all, this is going to be kind of a really cool carry piece, something I'm interested to carry for a little while. So regardless, let's get a uh, kind of away from the, the up close specs and stuff here. Let's shoot it for about seven yards here. We'll, uh, I've got nine loaded. Shoot at the top dot, give you an idea. Now, all in all, do I think that this Kimber Pro Aegis 2 is going to replace my Glock, Sig, Smith, Polymer pistols? For my everyday carry, absolutely not. Um, it's heavier, it's bigger, less rounds, same caliber. It really, really doesn't have much of an upside for a carry pistol for me um, when it comes to like an everyday carry. But for a range pistol, for a ranch pistol, for a woods pistol, for something that just has a little bit of life to it and it's got that 1911 frame it's got that style it looks it looks great um there's no no denying that this looks better than any polymer pistol you're going to pull out of a box and uh it shoots true it shoots great 
it's definitely something that I will carry. Um, it's just not an everyday carry, but one of those situations, it's, um, it's a great pistol, I think, for what it was designed for. And at the same time, it's a, it's a hell of a lot of fun to shoot. Um, anybody that shot that 1911 frame knows exactly what I'm talking about. And I do believe that the four inch and nine millimeter is probably the sweet spot. If you're gonna go five inch, go 45 ACP, go full size. Um, but this aluminum frame nine millimeter in the four inch is kind of a really slick, sweet setup. Um, like I said, when you holster it, even just a little cheap holster or something, you can't even tell with a cheap belt, cheap holster, even then with as small and as thin as it is, you can't even tell you have it on you. Um, so like I said, I hope you guys, uh, this really wasn't a review of the pistol. This was kind of just a, uh, kind of a, hey, how's everybody doing? This is what I'm going to be doing this year, kind of carrying some different pistols. Maybe you have seen it, maybe you haven't seen it. If you haven't, it's a pretty decent pistol, to be honest. Um, I'm not saying run out and go buy one. I'm just saying that if you come across a, a four inch, nine millimeter, 1911 style pistol, maybe don't overlook it. They are an absolute blast to shoot. Um, and like I said, if you're a gun collector, I think you should have one of them in your, in your safe. So I appreciate you guys stopping in and watching this little, uh, little video today. I know it was a short one. I'm gonna be coming back with some longer videos. We're gonna be doing some shotgun and rifle videos this year. I'm getting that set up, so comment, subscribe, like. We appreciate you guys here at the channel. We're going to be putting out more content. We'll be seeing you in the next one.